In this lesson, we'll be focusing on the rules of multiplying and dividing integers. So in the previous lesson, you looked at this running scenario and you determined these following rules for multiplication. That a positive times a positive equals a positive, a positive times a negative equals a negative, a negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative times a negative equals a positive. What we're going to do today is to try to look at those multiplication rules that you created and try to use what you know about fact families to try to make your own set of division rules. So a hint is you may want to rewrite examples, every single example in here with numbers so you can see what's going on. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. So you might want to look at the problem. We can look at, say, something like the second scenario where it says positive times a negative equals a negative. You might say something like, well, I know that 5 times negative 4 equals negative 20. So knowing what I know about fact families, that means that negative 20 divided by 5 equals negative 4, and also that negative 20 divided by negative 4 equals 5. Okay, so what I'm going to ask you to do is think about all of these four rules and see if you can come up with maybe examples like I did or something to help you think you can develop the division rules. So pause the video, see if you can work it out, and then come back and see if you got it, everything correct. Okay. All right, if you were able to investigate, there's something really cool. The rules for multiplication and division are exactly the same. Wow, that's amazing. So I really like this particular graphic because instead of looking at eight different things, you can kind of just simplify it down. When you're multiplying and dividing two integers at a time, if you have the same signs, our answer is positive. So a positive times a positive, that makes a positive. Negative times a negative, that makes a positive. That works for dividing too. Positive divided by positive equals a positive. If you have different signs, your answer is negative. So if you have one positive and one negative that you're multiplying or dividing, you're going to get a negative answer. So you might want to copy this graphic down if you like it like I do, just to make it nice, short, and simple. Okay, I would like you to then try to use these rules to solve four example problems on your own. Here they are. 5 times negative 9 negative 62 divided by negative 2, negative 6 times 7, and finally 32 divided by negative 8. So I'd like you to try to solve all four of those problems, pause the video, then come back and check if you were correct. Okay, 5 times negative 9, you should get negative 45. The signs are different. We have a positive and a negative, so we get a negative answer. B, we have negative 62 divided by negative 2. Well, half of 62 is 31. And because it's a negative divided by a negative, we get a positive answer. Signs are the same positive answer. C, we have negative 6 times 7. That is negative 42. Again, we have different signs. We have a negative and a positive, so we have a negative answer. And then the final one here, 32 divided by negative 8. That's negative 4. Again, we have a positive divided by a negative, so different signs, negative answer. Okay, hopefully you're catching on and working on this as we go.